Hey friends, judging by the video title, you already know what you're in store for today. A lot of people ask me what it's like to do a, a routine, let alone a professional dance routine. I'm going to show you some footage that I captured vlogging style leading up to my showcase debut right back at Mad Jam, way back in March. I figure I can show this to you in a lighthearted way. That way you'll be able to get a glimpse into what my life is like and what I know that others have to go through as well. Excuse some of the vertical video that you're going to see. I had to splice it together with uh, my practice footage. Other than that, enjoy the experience. Cue the video! Yo, it's like 10.30, gonna wake up for the day, make some food, you know, get ready before starting practice. Need to eat a lot. Usually just start with like a shower or something. It's like 12-ish, like 12, 15. It's lunchtime. Well, technically breakfast, because this is actually the first meal I eat in a day, because I need to really get a lot of calories in. First off is my protein shake. It's got bananas, avocado, protein powder, a little bit of creatine. This thing is roughly like about 400 calories or so, you know, just from the ingredients in it. And then I have some grapes. Usually I'd eat rice instead, but I don't have any rice cooked. So grapes is my pretty simple substitute for carbs. And then here I have two burger patties that I like to pan fry every morning. This is about like a thousand calories, a little bit of ketchup on the side. So two patties plus uh, ketchup's about a thousand calories. Grapes, 150 so calories or so. And then on the side over here, I have some bok choy. I like that a bit more than broccoli. I like having a little bit of greens in the morning, but I like bok choy more just cause I, I find I don't really get so gassy from it. So in total, we're looking at like thousand, 300, 150, probably like 50 with some like, with the, the hot sauce I'll have. We're looking at like 1600 calorie meal. Yo, it's 2 p.m. Sunday. In my car right now, about to head off to the studio. Probably get there around 2.30, practice till eight. It's gonna be a long day. See you there. Yo, so I'm at the gym now. I go to this chain gym called Steve Nash, just cause you can go to a bunch of different locations and they have a bunch of dance studios you can access. I find that gyms are way better than like purposefully built dance studios just because there's more availability and generally you don't have to fight for the music. So like here's a little look at what one of my dance studios looks like. Nice. Anyways, now to go warm up for about 15-20 minutes before I actually start dancing. Just finished practice, it's like 8, 10 now. It's about five and a half hours. I'm gonna go home, eat a bunch of food, sleep early so I can get some good rest and be able to hit it again tomorrow. So yeah, fun stuff. Yo, it's like 10.30 on Monday morning. I'm gonna be going to my chiropractor just to be readjusted since my hip or my sacrum is a little bit out of place. After that, eat a late lunch before I head off to the studio to practice for a few hours. Just outside my Cairo's building, Got my adjustment, feeling super good. If you've never gotten some sort of manual adjustment before, I would highly recommend it, especially since you will be able to feel just how much range of motion you have in your body and everything else. So 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Major oof. I was at the studio today to practice at like 1 p.m. Put down some mats, put in my earbuds, and ended up just like napping literally on the floor <laughs> on like the yoga mats for an hour. It's like 2 o'clock now. So I decided just to go home and rest before I go back to practice probably from like 8 to 11 tonight. Yeah, fun little nap, middle of the day. <laughs> Bail on practice, yay! Okay, see ya.
also where I practice, so that's how big it is. It's like eight o'clock on Tuesday. I meant to come in earlier, but I basically have been like sleeping and eating all day just to rest. This is some of the stuff in my bag, my Gatorade. My massage gun right here, their guns, knee pads, dance shoes, big speaker, boom, mega boom, and then my tripod here. We have a few more things. We actually use an iPad and like an additional phone so we can record as well. So that's everything I have. got back from practicing for like two and a half, three hours or so. Ah, practice didn't really go so well today. Some some big disagreements, choreography isn't working in some places. Not really ideal, honestly, but if you're in like some sort of choreo partnership or whatever, um, expect there to be some, some tension, especially since you both care about the product so much. A lot of the time people say they don't fight or anything and that's okay. Maybe that's nice, but anyone who I've seen who has good choreography or really cares about their product, they will admit to having like really big disagreements. Maybe not fighting, but big disagreements. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow will be better. So we'll see. Yeah, not much time left, like a week. Oh gosh. All right. Yo, Saturday, it's like 1 p.m. now. I'm preparing my, my breakfast. I actually was awake earlier around nine o'clock, drank like a protein shake, basically went back asleep so I could digest my food. So right now I am making breakfast, which basically consists of more rice, pan fried hamburger patties and boiled bok choy. Got a big day ahead of me. Gonna be practicing from like three to eight, full run throughs um, with everything, all lifts, all tricks, everything. So that's gonna be kind of fun and taxing. I don't know. I'm super pumped. I feel like I can do it. finished practice. I had like a good four to five hour practice or so. It went well. Overhead lift is working out well. Kind of sprained my middle finger a little bit. Gotta ice that and take care of that. Otherwise, after that, go out social dancing for a few hours tonight. Welcome back. That's all the footage I have. I did have some footage leading up to the event and at Mad Jam itself, but honestly, it really wasn't that interesting. Maybe I could have shot it better or maybe picked better moments. Let me know if there's something that you would have liked to see or were interested in learning and maybe I can put that in for next time. But in lieu of that, I do have my video for Magium. So you can see how we did in a full run through with all the lighting and the, the makeup and the performance energy and everything else. We'll get to enjoy that together. If you want to watch the video without my enlightening commentary, then you can find it on YouTube. Super easy to search. It'll be there.
All right, enjoy. Obviously, some things could have gone better. Eh, you can see that for yourself. We had a fall, had some mistakes. Eh, that was our debut. And crazy and unexpected things generally happen in your debut. Very few people can pull off a perfect debut of their routine. That just means next time, we'll do it better. Whenever that might be. Hopefully, people in the future don't know what I'm referring to when I'm talking about these times. That way they can be like, huh. I wonder what he's talking about. What was going on in that year? <laughs> fun times. This was a fun side project for me to be able to showcase exactly what I know that dance partnerships have to go through in routines and everything else as they're looking to bring their art to you. I want to show to you some of the work that goes into routines, um, especially some of the things you won't be able to see when people are performing their piece on the grand stage where every competitor, every professional, every artist is dedicating so much sacrifice and effort and time into being able to share their art with you. I hope that this video has enabled you or helped you learn how to appreciate some of the things you might not have known about or some of the things you perhaps would not have even noticed before, especially when you're watching the performance on the grand stage and not necessarily seeing all the hours of dedication and work 
that had to be put into it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Who knows? Maybe I'll even keep doing these. I don't even know. Until next time, I'll see you later.